up everyone, Kevin from Epic Gardening here. Today I'm gonna to show you two ways to take this bucket, these simple parts, and make an easy DIY cloning and propagation machine so you don't have to spend a lot of money on one of those fancy ones. You can do it with a five gallon bucket, couple parts from the aquarium or the hydroponic store. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna talk about the two different methods first really quickly on the whiteboard and then we'll go into building them. They're very simple and the one you use is kind of almost personal preference, but I figured it'd be fun to talk about both. So first we're gonna go with sprayer. Sprayer is gonna be using a water pump. So that means that your water line is gonna be lower. So let's just say you filled the water up to maybe about here in, in your five gallon bucket. And actually before we go into this part versus this part, let's talk about the top. You just have a lid these little cup looking things are net pots, which you'll see later on in the video. And I'm going to talk about the exact type of net pots I, I like to use. I like to use these heavier duty ones. So net pot, here's your lid. Here's the five gallon bucket itself. And then this is your water. So we're water propagating, water cloning. And so obviously we need some water. So with the sprayer method, you've got a little water pump down here. It's a submersible water pump, maybe like a 75 gallon or you can get it in an aquarium store or whatever. Then you use a cutoff riser, which is just a very simple piece of irrigation equipment that screws into the pump. It comes up like this, excuse those unstraight lines there, it's crooked lines. And then you've got a 360 degree spray nozzle that's going to be spraying water out like this. And it's gonna be hitting the bottom of all these net pots bouncing off the walls, kind of coming in like this, coming in like this, coming out like this. It's gonna be hitting all these net pots and our plants, which are gonna be, let's just draw this one right here. Your plant is gonna be sitting here. There's gonna be a neoprene little sleeve right here. So there's like a little insert like this. You've got your plant coming out. You got your nice leaves, whatever. And then you've got your root system, which is what we care about in this system, right? And so the roots are gonna be getting hit with that water. So you're saying, okay, sprayer system works. That's a great system. Obviously you need to also have a electricity line, your, your power line coming out like that, right? There's your sprayer system. Okay, now what's the difference between this and an air system over here? No water pump is going to be in the air system as you might imagine. The water line is gonna go much, much higher and I'm gonna explain why in a bit. So here's our water line. It's almost right below the net pots. And I actually have a video of how deep your net pot should be. Basically, let's, let's do a quick little thing here. You've got a net pot like this. Here's the surface, right? You want your water line like there, like right below it because of what we're about to see in this air system. So with the air system, you're using air stones. So you can use one, you can use two, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use a big round circular air stone like this. Hydro Farm makes them, but I'm gonna be using one from CZ Garden in today's video because they're the sponsor of the video. So I figured it'd be fun to use some of their products. So this air stone is gonna have a little airline tubing. The airline tubing, similar to the power, is gonna come right out like this. But in this particular case, the power is controlled with an air pump, which is sitting out here. So you've got your air pump out here. That's pumping air up through this tubing, down through this tubing, into the air stone and then air starts to come out here, right? And you're thinking, okay, well, yeah, that's oxygenating this, new, uh, th this, this reservoir so the water doesn't go stagnant, but what, what's happening? How, what about my plants? So you've got your little, your little collar here, you have your plant coming out, nice foliage up here, and then you've got your roots. How are the roots gonna get water? Well, as soon as air bubbles go to the top here, they're gonna pop. And so once these air bubbles pop, what you're looking at is, if we do a little another close up, is here's the surface of the water, here's the net pot, like this, sitting on, on top of the lid. The air bubbles are gonna come up and they're gonna pop. And then the popping is gonna throw little bits of water right into the root system and they're going to be uh, cared for just perfectly. So it's a different method. This one's spraying from below pumping up and spraying directly at the roots. This one's going to be doing the same thing except for the spraying, quote unquote, is happening with the popping mechanism of the air stone. So that's it, and let's go ahead and build these two things now. So this is everything you need for both systems. And I'm gonna go through the mandatory items and then the optional items based on the plan that you're gonna do. So first, you've got your bucket. Your bucket needs to have a lid that is is sort of uniform at the top because what you're doing is you're gonna be flipping these over 
and drilling some holes in the top. So it's really nice for this to sit flush, which is why I like a particular lid like this because the whole thing's flat right out to the edge, which is just, it's very convenient. Not saying you can't do it if you don't have a lid like that, but it is very convenient. I chose just a standard heavy duty, darker colored, actually I went a little camo for some flare, five gallon bucket, the darker it is, the more heat it will absorb, but also the more light it will block. I prefer blocking light. I can manage uh, absorbing heat, so that's no big deal. Now, let's talk about these net pots. So, net pots I'm sure you are familiar with, and if you're not, they're basically just a cup that have these little sort of um, cut out areas for roots to penetrate. Now, what's interesting about these, first of all, these are from CZ Garden, so he's the sponsor of this video. He makes some more high quality hydroponic products in my opinion. Uh, for example, one of the big problems with net pots is they will, they will sort of break really easily. This one I'm squeezing pretty hard here and it's not, it's barely even depressing. And you know, roots are very strong. Roots can pop through, destroy things like this. I've found the CZ ones to be really heavy duty. So that, those are the ones I'm using in today's video. They're just extremely strong. Yeah, they're a little more expensive, but you will need to replace them almost never, so to me it's worth it. Okay, so you need the net pots. You're gonna need neoprene collars. It's not necessary, but if you wanna do this in a soilless way, what you can do is you can take a neoprene collar and just pop it right in to the surface of this net pot like this and slide your plant in the middle and then your plant is sitting perfectly in there and you're gonna see how that looks in just a second. Um, and then finally, you'll need the hole saw bit that drills just under the size of the lid so it'll sit perfectly right in there. Now, air stones. This is an air stone and it basically what it does is it just connects an air line and pumps air directly out of this which diffuses it and you've got this nice beautiful stream of bubbles of air. Now what's nice about this one is, it, again it's from CZ Garden but what's nice is it's got the suction cups already so you can just stick it right down at the bottom, it's not gonna mess around, float around, which is great. The key thing for me though is the 90 degree. So I have another one that is not 90 degree, and if you imagine them both sitting at the bottom of your bucket over here, well, the airline's coming from the top, so doesn't it make a lot more sense to have it just connect like this, rather than come in like this, kink, and then your plants aren't getting oxygenated? To me it does, which is why I like this one from CC Garden a little bit more than I guess you could say the more basic air stones like I have right here. The air stone, if you're using the air method, you're also going to need an air pump. This is, I believe, an active aqua one from Hydro Farm. It's a two outlet, more than enough. And then you'll need some airline tubing. So this is just black vinyl tubing. I do recommend going black or at least opaque versus clear because the clear is just a little bit more prone to algae growth and stuff like that. Might as well go black and uh, you know what? You'll never go back. So <laughs> the next one you've got is if you're gonna do the water pump method, then you obviously need a water pump. So this is just a submersible, I believe, pond pump. It's actually quite strong. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this off and then we're gonna put in this right here. This is the cutoff riser. So it's a 12 inch cutoff riser, I believe. And at the top, you've got your little uh, 360 degree pump sprayer. That's it, let's go ahead and start off with the air method. So I'm gonna lay out my net pots here and you know what, I, I have four of these heavy duty ones right now. You can definitely cram in, as you can see, quite a bit more. You could probably do, let's see, maybe six if you creatively lay this out. And so you can get quite a bit and also you can use a smaller net pot if you want. You can use maybe a two incher and then you can put a lot more in here. Um, but for now, for the video, let's just go ahead and do four. We'll lay them out nice and neatly, draw lines around it so we know what to do with our hole saw, and then we are gonna start drilling. Alrighty, so now the moment of truth. Do they fit? Yes, they do. They fit nice and perfectly, and I'm gonna show you what they look like underneath. That's pretty much exactly what you want. They look, they look pretty decent. They're dropping into the bucket. The water, if we're using the air method, is gonna be right here. It's gonna be much lower for using the pump. So let's go ahead and set up the two different methods. All right, everyone, we've got our air pump sitting over here. It is plugged in right now. I have some airline tubing attached. I've got the water filled up to about an inch below where the net pot would fall, which is pretty ideal. 
Now we need to take this, plug it in. So what I did, and I actually forgot to show you guys, is I did drill a hole in the side of the bucket here so that the airline tubing can fit in. So you can see it just slide right in there. It's a little bit better than having it come through the lid because then you have to drill a hole in the lid and it awkwardly kind of comes up and over here and it just doesn't look that good. So up to you, but that's what I decided to do. And you can see why the 90 degree angle on this works a little better because this is going directly down in and if it wasn't 90 degrees, the airline tubing would have to come down like this you know, and then snake in like that, and it's prone to kinking. So what I do is I plug it in right up at the top. Sometimes I find it's, it's nice, let me just take it off for a second. Sometimes I find it's nice, well, I can't now, so we're stuck, we're stuck with it. But sometimes it is nice to kind of do a tiny little slit just to be able to get it over the hump sometimes, but otherwise, you know, just force it on, you're gonna, you're gonna be good to go, and we're gonna sink it down in there. It's going down in, we're gonna adhere it right to the bottom, and then you're saying, why is, no, why is no air coming out? That's because the pump's on low right now. So let's go back over here, crank the pump up. Boom, there you go. And that's what you wanna see. You wanna see a nice steady stream. This is a new air stone. And so you're gonna see a lot more start coming out in a little bit, but nice stream bubbles are making it their way all the way around and they're popping and they will be, I can actually feel them right here, if I just put my hand here, I feel them. And so the popping is going to irrigate the system as it sits, just like that. So that is the basics of the air system. And as you can see, you've got your net pot, it'll be sitting right about there, right above the water surface, just soaking up some of that water. The plant's roots are gonna be just sort of getting misted. And then of course, once the plants actually root, they'll start dropping down into this oxygenated solution. They're gonna be in a really good spot. So now we're on to the water pump method with the sprayer. So what you can see here is I actually swapped the pump out. The, the pump you see right there is actually stronger than this one, I believe. And it's a pond pump. And I don't necessarily need that much as, as far as gallons per hour are concerned. I don't wanna like have it insanely powerful. So I switched it out for a little bit less powerful, but larger actually uh, pump. And what you do here is you just screw this directly in. And so you screw it directly in, make sure it's nice and snug. And then from there, this is the simplest thing ever. You just put it down in here. And what I did is I lowered the water level a little bit. So it's, you know, the pump is submerged. Let's show you. The pump is submerged, but it's not, you know, all the way up here because this is doing the job of the air bubbles. This is basically forcing the spray out like this, which you're gonna see in a second. It might be a little messy, but I do wanna show you kind of how this works. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. I am really hoping this doesn't spray directly at the camera, but let's go ahead and show you what happens. Let's plug it in. Three, two, one. Woo, there you go. So, <laughs> good, it didn't get the camera. So you can see, if you put this on top, you've got it spraying directly out at the net pots right there, just constantly blasting your roots with water, oxygen, etc. And you might say, okay, well, you know, what about the, the air stone? Wasn't that also serving the purpose of oxygenating the water down here? Yes, it was, but you know what? The, the, air, the water return actually also helps to oxygenate. So the spraying, pumping up, spraying it through the air and having it return back also helps to oxygenate it quite a bit. So we've seen kind of an overview of both of the systems. Let's talk about how you would actually put cuttings into the system. Now, these are not the healthiest basil cuttings of all time. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of had to scrounge around for what I could get, but we'll see if they do well. It's more for just the educational example of how to install this stuff. So the neoprene collars are really nice. You don't have to use a ton of growing media because your plants don't really need it at this stage of their life, you're trying to propagate them. So they kind of open up like a, like a pair of teeth or something like that, and then they zoop, close back up. So what you can do is you can take your cutting, you could put it right through the middle just like that, right about to there, and then you can pop it right into the system, and it's a bit of a snug fit, but that's okay. You just pop it right down in there, and then once you turn the system on, you've got it all nice and set up and the roots are gonna be getting exactly what they need to develop. So you can see really nice snug fit right there. 
And then if you look in here, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the root is, or the stem cutting is sitting right about in the middle there. Water's gonna be smacking it and it's gonna start rooting really, really nicely. There we have it everyone, two easy methods to do a cloning system or a propagation station as I like to call it with either a water pump and a 360 degree sprayer on a cutoff riser or with an air pump, airline tubing, air stone and keeping that water level higher so that those roots get popped up water with the bubbles that are coming out of the air stone. So just to recap, you've got the really cool net pots from CZ Garden that are extremely heavy duty, extremely, extremely heavy duty actually, probably three times stronger than the average net pot. The neoprene collars also came from CZ. He sent those out just sort of as a thank you, I guess. And then let me dig down in here. This air stone, which I think a lot of people get their air stones from maybe Hydro Farm or someone on Amazon. You can get this on Amazon, but again, it's, sometimes it's the small things that make the difference in the garden. This 90 degree is a lifesaver. There's not gonna ever be a kink in my airline tubing and that would actually be devastating to my plants. So one little thing that I haven't seen on any other Airstone, pretty valuable. So check CZ stuff out, all the products for everything, the bucket, all that stuff is gonna be in the description so you can sort of just copy paste and build it yourself if you'd like. Pretty cheap overall either method. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm going to try to do some more DIY tutorials in the future. Please feel free to connect with me on Instagram, on my website at epicgardening.com. And also if you'd like to pre-order the book, that's coming out May 7th. Go to epicgardening.com slash book, pre-order there, forward me a copy of your receipt, and I'm going to send you a pack of free heirloom organic seeds from my friend Bridget at San Diego Seed Company. All right guys, good luck in the garden. I need to clean up and I will see you on the next video.